Well, it's another episode of uh, Sly McGoal and uh, live from uh, halftime at the Vikings game. Yeah, what were we going to talk about again? Sin. Sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Temptation. Right. Like from food. I'm never tempted by anything. Mm -hmm. I just eat it all. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. I know this week we're going to talk about, you know, being tempted by other things and. You know, you have a pet peeve about the story for this week, don't you, Justin? Huh. I do. I do kind of have a, a little pet peeve uh, from this reading from Genesis. Everyone always interprets the, the serpent to be the devil. Uh, it's not the devil. We're not going to see the devil for thousands of years. It comes far later, the concept of the devil in the New Testament. No mention of the devil at all in the Old Testament. It is a talking serpent. Um, but we as human beings, we have a, a tendency to want to blame someone else for all the mistakes that we make. <clears throat> and so we want to blame someone for causing us to eat the cheese that we're not supposed to. So we say that the devil made me do it. It wasn't the talking serpent. It wasn't my choice. I'm not going to take responsibility for my actions, but blame someone else. And it's not my fault that I'm eating this delicious uh, candy. It's, you know, the candy's fault, right? Right. Mm. Absolutely. This is the problem with the whole thing is the story of this breakdown in the relationships with uh, Eve wants to blame the serpent and um, Adam wants to blame Eve and this is where one sin leads to another and we just keep on hurting each other and hurting each other. Right. Um, and I think this is really the hard part that we have to wrestle with today with this text. Yeah, it becomes really easy for us just to kind of fall into shame and guilt and uh, and feel bad for the mistakes that we've made, uh, try to blame others for it. But God calls us to do more than that. God calls us to return to creation, uh, to continue to live as forgiven people. We're broken, but God makes us whole. Um, and that's the lesson that's important from this text and for our lives today. Well, I'm not really tempted by anything, but uh, I think it's time to go. So let's go watch. The yeah, third quarter is about to start. Yeah. So uh, see you next time. Yeah, time to go.